Hello and welcome to My Little Pony the Movie the Comic. This is my very first time experiencing it. And I'm like, really excited. This is like, the only bit of content left I haven't consumed. I have no clue if this will be entertaining, but I don't care. I'm sure this comic isn't as fulfilling as the movie. I'll go back, I'll watch that eventually. But right now, oh boy. Let's get into it. All of Canterlot is busy preparing for the Friendship Festival. Whatever that is. Excuse me, excuse me. It's in green, that's how you know it's Spike. Dragon on the move. Get it together, Twilight. This is your festival. I suppose it would make sense for the Princess of Friendship to put on the Friendship Festival. Okay, I got all your charts and graphs. Good boy, Spike. Thank goodness you're here. I'm so nervous about this meeting. Just remember the most important thing. That is... a great smile, Twilight. Smile? <laughs> no, you have a plan! Of course you have a plan, Twilight. You always have a plan. Spike, I think you're right. Good morning, princesses. Okay, Twilight. Thank you all for seeing me. I have an idea that I think will make our friendship festival the most wonderful ever. Yes, Twilight, we are very excited. Ponies have been arriving all morning. I'd like to think it is to see us, but Songbird Serenade might be the bigger attraction. Yeah, she is the main event. Ooh, the main... <laughs> of course, the horse pun main. Can't do anything without making those. And to make it extra special, I could use your help. Spike the charts, please. Oh god, that's a lot of charts. And based on my precise calculations... Oh, uh-huh. To get the very best lighting for the stage... Uh, vroom. Princess Celestia, I was hoping you could make sure the sun stays about 28.1 degrees to the south. You know, that just sounds optimal. Presenting Songbird Serenade! And Princess Luna, if you could raise the moon 62 degrees to the north at the same time... Yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm guessing that Spike? It would reflect the sunlight on the other side and frame the stage perfectly. Cadence, if you could use your crystal magic to create an aurora above the stage, can she do that? <laughs> Is that a thing Cadence has? So, you are saying you want us to move the sun and moon for the party. Twilight, each of us uses her powers to serve Equestria in her own way. You are the princess of friendship. You have all the magic you need. Not to optimally position the sun and moon. Uh, what's the problem? So, that'd be a no. What? Whoosh! Outside, Twilight's friends are prepping for the big day. Sky is cleared and ready for the festival. Balloon blowing. <laughs> it's a perfect likeness. Damn, Pinkie Pie, that's great. I know you'll do a great job in the show tonight. Hey, y'all. Any pony up for some free samples of my family's apple cider? Wow, Rarity, that's a fine job you're doing. Applejack, darling, any pony can do fine. Of course, it might not get done till after the concert. Twilight asked me, so she clearly wants fabulous and fa <laughs> Fabulous and fabulous takes time. Well put, Rarity. Fabulous takes forever. But awesome could get done in four seconds. No, 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 no. Don't you dare, Rainbow Dash. What is Rarity even doing? Decorating? I guess. How'd it go with the other princesses? They like your idea? Not exactly. They think I can make today perfect without their magic. Squeeze. Twilight, this will be the, this will be the biggest celebration Equestria has ever seen. As the Princess of Friendship, you cannot fail. This day will define who you are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's almost too much for any single pony to handle. But you have us. So stop worrying. <laughs> it's time to show them what you Is this an actual song? Oh, this looks like an actual song. I'm looking it up. No, the cake! That was a good song. I don't really have much to say about it besides it was pretty wholesome. <laughs> One of the things I was worried about is whether it'd be clear whether a song was happening or not because I really want to watch them as I go through this. So I'm glad it it plays them out for me. Okay, so yeah. Ready to charge of decorating. Applejack's got food. Rainbow the weather. Fluttershy music. And... Pinky just the cake, but she was also blowing up balloons, so maybe decorating too? 
All right, so let's get back into this cake just went splat all over Twilight. <laughs> oh no. Oopsie. Guess my Easy Bake Confetti Cannon Easy Bake Confetti Cake Cannon needs a little bit more fine tuning. <laughs> um expect me to fumble on Pinkie Pie lines constantly. Pinky! What a perfect time for company to arrive. Gasp! Songbird Serenade! It's her! It's her! Hiya! I'm looking for the pony in charge. Why she got a weird blue bubble? Let's see a good one for the camera, Serenade. Snap, snap, snap. Uh, what voice should I do for Songbird Serenade? I'll wing it. Songbird Serenade? Um, I was just going to check on you. I'm Princess Twilight. I need to set up for my sound check. <laughs> Is this really what I'm gonna do? God, she's covered in cake. Oh, right, that's just right over... Whip. <laughs> oh no, the cake! Um... Sorry about the mess, I'm usually not so... Caked in cake? That's a, that's a good one. Roger that, we gotta go. A few moments later... Phew! What, thunder? Is that what... Storm clouds, I order perfect weather! Ooh, I bet those are the clowns I ordered. Pinkie Pie? Uh, I don't think those are storm clouds. A sinister ship? That is definitely not the clowns I ordered. Uh, could be. A hedgehog? A small figure emerges. Ponies of Equestria, we come on behalf of the fearsome, the powerful, the almighty Storm King! And to deliver this, and to deliver his evil, evil message, let's put those hooves together for <laughs> Commander Tempest! Gasp! Is that a unicorn? Tempest, is it? How may we help you? Oh, goody. All four princesses. Here's the deal, ladies. I need your magic. Give it up nicely, or we will make it difficult. For everyone! Everyone, not every pony? Blasphemous. And why should we cower before you? There are hundreds of us. <laughs> I was hoping you'd choose difficult. Flip, flap, flip! Storm King's... a monkey? I'm guessing. These look like monkeys. Let's see how your magic is against this! Whip! Wait, a Chaos Emerald? Every pony behind me! I can't hold it! Everyone, give her your love! No! Vroom. Ah! No, Cadence! <laughs> what is this green orb? Luna, quick! Go beyond the Badlands! Seek help from the Queen of the Hippo! Griffs? Kablam! Celestia! <laughs> Vroonk! But before Luna could flee... Vroom. She too was hit with an orb and turned to stone! Oh, so that's what's going on. It's petrifying them. This way! We've got to stop her! Wump, wump, wump! Ooh, big monkey man! Out of our way! Vroom. But Twilight's blast misses its mark. Vip! Boom! And instead takes out the bridge. God damn it, Twilight! Look out below! I don't even have my bathing suits! Good priority, Rarity. Sploosh! Gah! Twilight Blub! Oh, wait, what now? Ah! Seriously? Half of them could fly! <laughs> Why? Twilight just teleport! Just teleport! <laughs> Commander isn't gonna like this! Why? Does he want her alive? Oh, oh, um, yeah, she wants their magic. And I guess this counts as Twilight getting away. Oh, cut the hat. Every pony okay? We just got our cupcakes handed to us by the worst party crashers ever! Uh, technically, Twilight pushed you guys off a bridge. We gotta go back and fight! Did you see the size of those goons? Big monkey man. What do you think happened to her? Who? Tempest? Her horn? Is that- are they gossiping about that? Who cares? How do we stop her? So what now? We can't hide here forever, and we can't let her get to Twilight. Twilight's looking pretty depressed. The Queen. 
Celestia told Luna to find the queen. What queen? The queen of the hippos! No, Twilight, no! Luna can't, so I have to leave Equestria to find her! Yeah, the queen! Uh, hippos? Seriously? Leave Equestria? I understand you're scared. No pony else has to go. But I have to find this queen. She might be our only hope. Well, you're not getting all the glory. We're in this together. Good loyalty, Rainbow. Back in Canterlot. All this power wasted on parties. Deedle dee, deedle dee, dee deedle dee, deedle dee. Oh, is it a phone call? Well, answer it. Where am I supposed to be looking? I never understand how this spell works. Tempest! I assume this is Storm King? Yeah, okay. Over here, your excellence. Oh, there you are. You promised me magic I could use to control the elements. And all I have is what? A branch? A twig? That would be the staff of the Sakanas. Sakanas. That would be the staff of the Sakanas, your excellency. It will channel the magic of the four rulers of this land. I need three days. Make this twig work, Tempest, and you'll get your reward. It won't be a problem. Otherwise, your horn will be the only thing broken. Dee dee dee! She just hang up on him? Bad spell servers. Want me to call him back? Do you have the princess? A uh, funny story. She got away. And I know you're disappointed, but I have one word for you. Sponge cake! Zzz, he dead. I need four for the staff to work. That princess is not going to keep me from getting my horn back. So, the Storm King stole her horn and is using it to extort her? That's my current guess. Besides, how far can- Oh wait, that's not Twilight. The color lied to me. Besides, how far can one little pony get on her own? I think maybe I see something up ahead. You said that before, Pinky. How'd they get to a desert? I mean, wherever they are, I mean, this is Clue's Town for sure. But maybe this time... A road? It's a road! It looks like a whole city. You know what they say. Where there's a city, there's a spa. Who says that? Rainbow, don't question it. See? This place looks fun. Oh, I bet Fluttershy feels so bad for those caged-up birdies. As the ponies enter Clugetown, they catch someone's eye. It's the one and only Kitty Cat Capper. Hell yeah, I know this guy. Now what do we have here? Can any pony take us to the Queen of the Hippos? Pinky, you don't need to announce that to every pony. Relax, Twilight, I got this. You want something? You gotta give something. Well, how about a big warm hug from a grateful pony friend? Or how about this comb that I never used? Or a picture of my sister? This breath mint? I want that fancy hair. I'll take the blue one. Oh, um, hair, hair. Give me the purple hair. No! What are you even going to do with it? Back up, everyone. Back it up. So this is one of the two scenes I am familiar with. I did a little research for Cosmos so I could understand Capper's character. Y'all in some serious danger. You didn't touch any of them, did you? Just look at all those colors. They're living in color. Do you think that's natural? Um, they're infected with pastellus coloritis. You know, everything sounds more legit when it's Latinized. Now listen here, fella. <clears throat> yeah, suck on that tail. Why did I say suck? God. With a quick dip of his tail and some spilled fruit, and a stealthy flip flip splat. What do I do? <laughs> Don't worry, as long as you're not covered in purple splotches, you'll be fine. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Enjoy your last moments, and don't touch anything. With that, the crowd splits up. Zip! Nice one, Capper. You. Are. Awesome! And quite charming. Hmm. <laughs> oh no, Rarity. Cap is the name, Charming's my game. So, I'm assuming he's gonna have some kind of angle, but I do know in the end he's obviously a friend. So, to the hippos then? We could definitely use a friend out here. I don't know if we should trust him. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Twilight. You know what? Little cotton candy hair is right. And if I do say so myself. 
It's another song! <laughs> oh no, Rarity! Yeah, this guy is... I don't know. <laughs> exactly! I knew it! What a... Shit face! Well, unbeknownst to him, Twilight can mess up anyone in her path. It's interesting that Applejack isn't also skeptical of him. He's pretty dishonest, and she should be able to pick up on that. But yeah, he did a pretty good job of reading everyone. Classic con man. Poor Rarity's dirty hooves, no. Welcome, my little ponies, to my little manor. Wow. What? Ooh, so many fun breakables. Don't, don't break them, Pinky, no. So, this queen of the hippos, what kind of powers does she have? Oh, how regal. Rarity, it, 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 it's tape. <laughs> you, you can't see that, I assume. Please make yourselves comfortable. And how long will it take to get to her? It'll take soon enough. Huh? Uh, what, Twilight? Oh, it looks like it might be an atlas. Ooh, is this where we'll find the legendary hippos? Meanwhile, not far away. You really think the ponies got this far? Oh, they're here. A little purple pony passed this way. Tell me where she is. You think we're gonna fall for that again? I don't know what kind of scam you're working with Capper and the rest of his friends, but... Wham! She'd kick him? Oh, kicked him in the face. Tell me about this, Capper. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Vroom. Oh, Rarity's stitching up his coat. Whoa, what's the catch? Nothing. After all you've done for us, consider it a thank you. Oh, uh, don't thank me, really. Yeah, this asshole's selling you. Guys, we've been looking for the wrong queen. We don't need the queen of the hippos. We need the queen of the hippogriffs. Glad she finally figured that out. Part pony, part eagle. Oh, oh, the hippogriffs. Now the trouble of that is, no one knows where they are. Says here they're on top of Mount Eris. You mean the mountain right outside the window? Objects and windows may be less mountainous than they appear. <laughs> Let's go, every pony. Twilight flings the door open. Here's Virko. <laughs> He's a mole. Oh, God. These ponies better shoot rainbow lasers out of their eyes if they're going to settle your debts. Let's load them up. Well, technically, if you had their human counterparts, they sure could shoot some rainbow lasers. You were, you were going to sell us? <laughs> Knew it. Trusting strangers? <sighs> Big mistake. Big! Huge! Well, look at you! With your scary broken horn and scowling eyes. What tricks do you know? I guess Tempest is right here. Not bad. Go! Go! The ponies escape through the window. I don't really understand Capper's plan with selling the girls. It's not like they're just wild animals. You don't think they're gonna resist? It was pretty funny, though. Get her! Now! You're gonna be scared now, ponies! Whoa! Every pony, keep going! Whoosh, they're on a windmill? But the extra weight loosens the windmill. And it goes flying! Wow! <clears throat> Some pony stop this thing! Man, just something I picked up on. I think I've said one Fluttershy line. <laughs> rumble, rumble. Smash! The roof is collapsing underneath them! Eee! Faster! Boom! We just had to get to one of those airships! I don't know if we will... Jump! Or fly, levitate, teleport, any one of those things! Where are we? Shh! Did you hear something? Squawk over with birds! Yeah, you're rats. Probably just these rats. <laughs> Who are you calling rats? I guess they made the jump. <laughs> All right, so this airship is filled with birdies. Okay. Now, where are they going? 
They're headed... Capper. But Capper has a change of heart. That's Rarity's generosity for ya. <laughs> East. Yeah. To... To Black Skull Island. So, uh... Glad I could be of service to His Majesty the Storm King. I'll just be on my way. Chink! When I get my princess. Until then... Your fate is up in the air! Oh no, he's taking hostage! That's what you get for being an asshole, Capper. What do you think, Twilight? Should we just ask him to take us? The last time we trusted some pony, he tried to sell us! Hey, Captain. We supposed to be shipping livestock today? <laughs> Looks like we have some stowaways. It's a... Bird girl. Is this a griffin? She has claws. Storm King's rulebook says, throw them overboard. No, they've fallen enough today. Come on now, don't make it any tougher. Woo, what steam whistle thing? Oh, all right, that's lunch. Uh, saved by the bell? Moments later, down in the galley. Are they just all eating lunch together? Okay. <laughs> ah, Twilight is confused. Probably for the same reason I am. So, you were about to throw us overboard, then you stopped for a lunch break? Yeah, that's the real question. Storm King only allows one break a day for meals. Meals? Then it's back to work. What is that, some kind of seed blend? Seed and grass blend? Yummy. Your delivery guys? So I'm noticing the other birds have weird finger appendages, so maybe the fact that girl has claws is completely irrelevant to her being a griffin. Wait, do any of these birds actually have wings? I'm very confused. And gals, these uniforms aren't exactly doing us any favors. Then can you deliver us to Mount Eris? That's a bold ask. They were about to throw you overboard. Sorry. We do what the Storm King orders, or we suffer his wrath. You weren't always delivery birds, were you? What about before the Storm King? Yeah, we used to be much more... adventurous. Ooh, I met that guy in the desert. What is this, Pinkie Pie? Whoa, you used to be pirates? We prefer the term swashbuckling treasure hunters. So, pirates. So they're pirate birds? Sky pirates, as one may say? Alright, alright. Uh... You birds have a choice to make. You can let some hoity-toity Storm King tell you how to live your lives, or you can be awesome again. Uh, Rainbow Dash, this really isn't a good time for a song. She has a peg leg. Uh, Sonic Rainboom? Uh, Sonic Rainboom? What, is this going to reveal their location at Tempest? That sounds like a bad plan. All right, so the the song, the video I looked at for the song went a little farther. Flimp, the pirates leave their full sails. Rainboom comes out. Pew! Oh, yep, there it is. Tempest now Who knows where they are. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that rainbow. That's so cool. Yeah, of them to alert us. Damn it, Rainbow Dash. Funny though, they didn't seem to be headed to Black Skull Island. Like, haha, funny, or, uh, Rip Capper's dead. Grubber, I'm taking the wheel. Whatever you say. Oh, so is that Hedgehog Boy's name? Grubber? Still don't know Bird Girl's name. Eh, not important. And speak of the devil, we I now know Bird Girl's name. I'm the pirate ship, Captain... Sele... How am I gonna pronounce this? What? Seleno? Keleno? I'm assuming that... C is going to be an S sound. I should probably just look it up. Captain Solano. Okay, so in the process of looking up Bird Girl's name, I have seen the scene. Ooh, I met that guy in the desert. That it is Pinkie Pie, I'm correct. But the goddamn panel is focusing on the Storm King. She's actually talking about the skull, which is so much more funnier. Way to miss a good joke. Damn comic adaptation. <clears throat> anyway, Captain Solano and Rainbow Dash are practicing sword fighting. Ha ha, squawk. Storm guards, looks like they found you. Dun dun dun. Secure the rigging. Lock down the cargo. Get those ponies below. 
Captain's right, it's safer for you down here. Get under there, Twilight. You think... You think he saw my Sonic Rainboom? Are you kidding me? Of course he saw it, Rainbow! <laughs> Seriously? How could anyone not see it? This is bad, this is bad, this is very, very bad! Fire! Bam! It does look kind of bad, huh? Oh, just a little. Tempest Skiff pulls along Solano's ship. <laughs> Where is the Pony Princess? Uh, Princess, Princess... Oh, we're hauling a Storm King merchandise and some shiny objects. Guac. Oh, look at that cute little Storm King. You do realize that if you were to shelter fugitives, the Storm King would be quite... explosive. We have to get out of the ship before they tell Tempest we're here. We help them get their mojo back. They're not going to give us up. Well, I have a plan. Hold this. What are you doing? What are you doing, Twilight? Clinkumf. Huh? Well, Captain, we'll just see what else you might have below. Whatever it is, I hope it's delicious. What? Whoosh, and they fall in again! I can't look! Whee! What in the hay is she up to? A balloon? Twilight rigs the basket for her friends. I sure hope this works. I'm sure eventually they'll realize half of them can fly and can carry the other half with them. But for now, let's use this balloon. And use a spike to make it a hot air balloon. That's... <laughs> okay, sure, that's one way. Twilight, I'm sure you could have just magicked it, but whatever. We're still falling pretty fast. Right then, the balloon levels out. he ya no. <laughs> what? he ya Yeehaw! That was close! Quick thinking, Twilight. Next stop, Mount Eris. We're home free. Oh, there it is, Mount Eris, shining in the distance. There's no ponies. But I found this! It's a kind of cupcake with some sprinkles! Oh yeah, and I found this too. Ah. Uh, wow, this is a real artist. Yep, <laughs> good job, Pinkie Pie. Beautiful. Looks like they're headed to Mount Eris. Really? Mount Daris? I didn't- well, that's my bad. I didn't- I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. Now, about your betrayal- No, Capper's dead! Steps of Mount Daris. That's it. I simply cannot. The bad guys have won! We're almost there. Will you stop saying that? No, really. We're here. This is it. Ooh! It's about time! It sure is about time, Spike. Wait. Oh yeah, no, they don't live there, I'm a dumbass, duh! Are you sure this is the right place? Hello? Is Eddie Pony home? But Celestia... The map... They have to be here! Something bad happened here. Something that turned this whole place into a ghost town. A ghost town? Spooky music? It's coming from over there. If we can find a way in... I think this is the way in. I hope it's safe for passing through. Ooh, Greek. What was that? Oh wait, water? We- this is it! We found them! Hey, wait up, Cannonball! Pinky! Yeah, go get him, Pinky! She's gone. <sighs> now what? Huh? Oh boy, I- Hate epic adventures. Whoosh wee! They're falling even more! Way to leave it to the last minute, Twilight. Ooh, magic breath bubbles? Oh. I didn't make these bubbles. Then, who did? Uh, hello? We're looking for the hippogriffs. Uh, girl voice. How do I know I can trust you? Where are you from? Equestria! Please, the Storm King invaded our land. And we need to find the Hippogriffs. The Storm King? I'm so glad I saved you guys. I'm totally taking you to my mom. Is your mom Novo? Does your mother know where they are? <laughs> she might have an idea. We're almost there. This is where I live. Wow. I know, I know. Mother, look what I found. It took a little longer than I thought to get to the Sea Pony Hippogriff stuff. Because I thought this was going to be like when the plot started. 
And I guess to be fair, it hasn't really started yet, so I guess my assumption was right. I guess the Cluj Town and Pirate stuff is supposed to, like, show the effect of the Storm King's rule. But I mean, this comic adaptation hasn't really shown that, so I don't know. But whatever, step one, find the hippogriffs? Done. Let's continue. Is it another shell? Because I am telling you, if it's another shell, I am... Princess Skastar, what have you done? Guards! You know surface dwellers are forbidden here! No! No, 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 Mom! Please! It is so not like that! The Storm King is trying to destroy their home, too! We need to find the hippogriffs. Do you know what happened to them? Does she know what happened to them? Well, of course I know. I'm the queen. I know everything. Oh, oh, it is such a good story. Don't you dare tell them. Why? Once upon a time, like a while ago, the hippogriffs did live on Mount Eris. She just said... <coughs> did I not say don't tell them? Hey, I'm just the queen. Don't mind me. Damn sassy. Fine, I can't tell you. But if I could... I'd say that the Horned Beast did show up to steal their magic, but to keep it out of his clutches, their brave and majestic leader, Queen Novo, hit them deep underwater where he could never go. Seriously? We are, well, we were, the Hippogriffs. Ta-da! But I totally did not tell you that. <laughs> Jesus. My lips are sealed. Well, I guess the pearl's out of the oyster now. I am Queen Novo. Brave and majestic? Playing it on a bit thick, don't you think, dear? Oh, Mom! Hold on now. When the Storm King came, you just abandoned your entire city and fled? We didn't flee. We swam. You know, in order to flee. She... But how? Oh, can we show them? Can we? Man, she's got some real Pinkie Pie energy. These are like the first guys we've had in like forever. Well, I suppose I should make sure it still works. Everyone just relax. This should feel... okay. I guess that means not painful? A bright light fills the room and swirls around the ponies. What's happening? Vort! Wow. Oh, these fins are divine! Hey, Applejack, race it to the coral. You're on! Try it, Fluttershy. Try what? A flip, perhaps? That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Yay. <laughs> Guys? Uh... What's happening? Uh, what? <laughs> Uh-oh. This is amazing. Uh, except for Spike. Poor Spike. With this, we could transform every pony at home into something powerful enough to face the Storm King's army? Or you could beat the shit out of them. That's an interesting plan, Twilight. Or, it could end up in his greedy claws. But, honey, I'm sorry about your home. I truly am. But my responsibility is to protect my subjects. The Pearl is not going anywhere. But we've come all this way. You can't just hide down here. Trap forever. There's so much you're missing. We are 100% okay with that. Blurble, blurble, little jellyfish boy. <laughs> oh, time for my seaweed wrap. Later, girls. There's so much more that's out there, but she doesn't give a damn. So that's it. We left home for nothing? I mean, I've been thinking that for a while now. Oh my gosh, best idea! You can stay with us forever! There's so many things we can do! Make friendship bracelets out of shells, and picture frames out of shells! <laughs> and make so many other things out of... I have so many projects that involve shells! And now I have someone new to share them with! Aside from my friends Shelly and Sheldon! Right, Shelly and Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Pinkie Pie would be very excited for this. Oh, uh, that sounds lovely, darling. But you must realize we can't stay. Oh, no, of course. Of course you have your own friends back home. It's fine, it's fine. Don't you have other sea pony friends? Shelly and Sheldon get jealous anyway. I'll get Mom to turn you back so you can go home. I know we have to go, but you guys saw how disappointed Princess Skystar was? Couldn't we just stay a little longer? Pinky, we just don't have time. Oh, no, 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 Pinky's right. Uh, say what now? We still need to come up with a plan to get back. 
a few minutes will make a huge difference. So go ahead and show Skystar the best time ever. I won't let you down. I'm counting on it. Nearby. It's probably for the best. Oh, Pinkie Pie song, let's go. Ooh, it starts off so sad. <laughs> Shelly and Sheldon, well. So what's Twilight doing while this is going on? Yeah, there's a ton of their sea ponies here, so why does she need them to play with? Well, I guess that confirms it. Pinkie Pie sang a song, so Novo's gonna help them. <laughs> Alright then, that was easy. Well, I guess there is one small thing we can do. Do you mean it? Yippee! Oh yeah! A woo, a woo. <laughs> but an alarm stops Queen Novo in her tracks. What's this? No, please! <laughs> this is what Twilight's doing. God damn it, try to steal it. <laughs> All of this so you can sneak in and take the pearl. This is why we don't bring strangers into our home. You don't deserve to be one of us. Drown him, drown him. Oh, never mind. Back to the surface. Gasp. Herc. What were you thinking? I mean, stealing the pearl? It was the only way to save Equestria. Except it wasn't. Their queen was going to say yes. We did what you told us and it worked. Gurp. Unless you didn't really want us to show her the best time ever. You just wanted us to distract her. I never would have done it. But this isn't Equestria. We can't just dance around with Connors, make rainbows in the sky, and expect everything to work out. It's not enough. We are not enough. No, Twilight. We stuck together. We were going to get the help we needed. The only thing that stopped us was you. I'm doing the best I can. It's all on me. I'm the one Tempest wants. I'm the last princess. You're also the only one who doesn't trust your friends. Oh, yeah? Kazert. Uh. Man, she charged up against Pinkie Pie? What a... Bitch. Pinky, I... I just can't talk to you right now. Twilight, how have you not realized? The only thing you need is each other. That's like the moral of every single episode. Friendship is magic. A short time later. Twilight, it's okay. You'll figure it out. Sniff. No, I can't. I ruined everything. There's no chance to save Equestria now. It's all my fault. Spike? Spike! Monkey, no! Clang. Ah! No, 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 no! Spike! Whoosh! Twilight! <laughs> Kinda deserved that. Now there's no way we can stop the Storm King. This whole journey was a mistake. All we wanted was for some pony to help us. You think maybe it's time we talk to Twilight? Sniffle. Yes. Help! I assume that's... Yeah. She's been taken! What? Twilight's been taken! Tempest, she grabbed her and took her on her ship! We gotta get her back! How? We'll never catch up. And we got no way to defeat those monsters! Capper? <laughs> then it's a good thing I happen to know a group of mighty heroes that could handle this easily. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Himself. I'm just gonna say it's rarity. These heroes have faced the Storm King's army and escaped. I've seen them tackle the streets of the roughest towns, break out of the tightest situations, and inspire others to join their cause. Now don't get too excited, he's just talking about us. They even escaped a certain doom at the hooves of the at the hooves of Commander Tempest. Yeah, that was pretty great. Are you kidding me? Bird Girl! <laughs> that was awesome! Figured you could use a claw. We're on board to help you fight the Storm King. Just not on board our actual ship. <laughs> that crazy unicorn sunk it. But we got back our arrr! And we're ready to kick some booty. Yar! Glub, glub, glub. Wish you've run. Oh, it's Sky Star! That's her name. It's Sky Star! Cool. Well, I'll be. Hello! Me again! Is that what I think it is? I'm gonna get so grounded. But I talked things over with Shelly and Sheldon, and they pointed out that you were just trying to help your friends. So I want to help too. Because you know, one small thing can make a difference. Alright then. I think our course is clear. Man, when they make all these friends... Twilight is in trouble because we left her. Friends don't leave friends behind, even when they made a mistake. 
Hell yeah, Pinky, let's go. Uh, Twilight situation looks grim. There must be something I can do. Vroom, Zort, clop, clop, clop. Nothing. Man, the fact that Twilight can teleport ruins this plot so much. <laughs> I recognize this cage is probably magic resistant, but I mean, at many other times in the story, it would be very useful. It could just be that this adaptation just cuts it out every time. Who knows, not me. Ah, the princess of friendship. With no friends and no way out. Why are you doing this? You're a pony, just like me. I'm nothing like you, and more than you'll ever be. Oh, <laughs> villain song. Wasn't expecting this. All right, open your eyes. This it? With no friends. Wait, she laughed her lines? <laughs> nice, I called it. It was pretty funny. To what? What are we opening your eyes to? Uh-oh. Ursa Major. Don't enter. <laughs> Is that gonna break her horn off? Slap! Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, and that gave her the scar, I see. If only she grew up in a mixed horse town. <laughs> then she wouldn't be the only one without magic. Very dramatic cage lift. So, we got Tempest's backstory, but doesn't really explain anything about the current situation. What was the relevance here? <laughs> I guess that's the price you pay for randomly bursting into song. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe, maybe we'll learn some more about why Tempest is here with the Storm King and why they want Twilight's magic. I'm so sorry you felt so alone. I saw the truth. My friends abandoned me when times got tough. So, getting a lot of Starlight vibes. Looks like I'm not the only one. Face it, princess. Friendship has failed you too. Friendship didn't fail me. I failed friendship. I understand that Tempest is like, trying to sway Twilight away from her friends, and like, to her point of view. But <laughs> this is a lesson she already learned like, way back in season two. Friendship isn't always easy, but there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. She's not gonna just give up on them. Oh no, Canterlot. Canterlot, later. They're controlled by the monkey men, no! And they're all muzzled, how cruel. Speaking of, wonder what Starlight's doing during this. And Discord for that matter. Ah, he doesn't care. As long as Fluttershy's fine. Herc is... So, they brought Twilight back to Canterlot, I suppose? Why? Wow, it's a good thing they're stone. So you don't have to see their disappointment in your complete, utter failure. Tempest, don't do this! Don't give the Storm King your magic. Did you think you'd keep it all to yourself? Time to share! I'd love for every pony out there to know what I can really do. Uh, Storm King? Ooh, fascinating. Tell me, Sparky, what can you do? Light a candle with that sparkler of yours? Your bidding, of course, mighty one. Bidding's good. I like biddings. Um, what are you supposed to be? I'm the princess of friendship. Oh, that's nice. Tempest, why is this one still moving? Kill it like the rest. She and her friends put up a bit of a fight, but she's alone now. She won't be a problem. Speaking of problems, this place, it seems a little too, um, cute. <laughs> Is it supposed to be some sort of joke? Wham! The Storm King slams his staff into the floor, activating its magics. Zroom! Wow! <laughs> what? Ing! Vroom! <clears throat> Twilight fights to keep her magic. So his staff sucks it in? But it's no use. Check out the light show! Oh, I guess they haven't drained the rest of the princesses yet, and they were waiting for all four? I mean, that seems inefficient. Let's get the storm started! Oh, hey, that's good. I should trademark that and sell it as profitable merchandise. Now about the princess. Zap! Mm -hmm. 
Boom! What's happening? Uh... Guess he's just beating up Twilight? <laughs> Not bad. Actually, kind of first rate. What else does it do? Your Excellency, you promised to restore my horn and give it even greater power. Uh, this sounds like, uh... <laughs> so the way she's wording that makes me think, um... I'm just feeling some, uh, parallels between Tyrick and Discord, you know? <laughs> okay, hang on. I want to blast this little pony again. Flip. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Oh, flip. I can move the sun? <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. I, it's, it's the sun, you can see. That's what he flipped. <laughs> right then, at the gates of Canterlot. Clop, clop, clop. Capper, they're bringing a Storm Storm King Trojan cake? Straight for business, Kachink. Uh, yeah. I've got a delivery here for a Mr. Storm King. I was given explicit instruction to bring this giant cake to this castle's throne room. Chink. Alright then. Can one of y'all go tell your boss he's not getting his congratulations on subduing defenseless pastel ponies cake? He has to have that cake let him in! Because I don't want to be the one, <clears throat> the one responsible for the big guy missing his special dessert. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it worked. Crank. Big monkey man, stupid. Look, I'm just gonna keep calling them monkey men until I get a better idea of what to call them. Got a problem with it? Thank you kindly, fellas. And I'ma be sure to put a good word in for both of y'all. Pinky, quit looking so happy. You ain't fooling any pony. Oh, okay. Oh, there, that's so much better. Good job, Pinky. <sighs> I sure hope this works. Clop, clop, clop. Oh, hello, Cake. Don't mind if I do. It's some, like, gourmet icing. <laughs> Who puts eyeballs in the filling? <laughs> they don't. Guards! Uh... Uh-oh. Plan B? The jig is up! Ahoy! <laughs> Come on! Get em, pirate birds! <laughs> Taste my hook, you beast! Clang! Oh! Oh, epic battle. Hold it tight. Trip. Doink. <laughs> okay. Dumb monkey men. Lovely. <laughs> no, Fluttershy. More storm creatures. Is that what... I think I prefer monkey men. I'm gonna keep going monkey men. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. Hey, ain't you a fire-breathing dragon? Uh, flamethrower spike? <laughs> um, seems a little intense. <laughs> but, you know, that's one way to take him out. The brawl does not go unnoticed. What? How? Is that... Yeah, yeah, friendship and flowers, ponies and bleh. I'm so totally over the cute pony thing. This ends now. Ah, yeah, let's whip up a storm. Oh no, I'm gonna get wet. Uh-oh. Move your hooves, ponies. Whoosh. You'd have to be traveling faster than a speeding pegasus to break through that wind. Is Rainbow implying that even she cannot fly through this wind at the speed of sound? I reckon you're right. Excellent idea, Rainbow Dash. Pinkie Pie plan? They never fail. Now I truly am the Storm King, and the entire world will bow to my b b b boom baby. <laughs> um, interesting line. Wait, so he can't actually just control lightning? That's what he obtained by absorbing Alicorn magic into the staff? I thought the point of the staff was to give him the power of the elements. I assume they were meaning the natural elements, water, earth, fire, air. Does he just, does it just give him lightning? That's actually pretty lame. Yes, yes. You are every bit as powerful as I promised, sir. Now, restore my horn, and I swear to use my magic to serve you. So along with Celestia's sun magic, it has lightning and horn regrowth? These are some weird powers. Can it just do anything? Is that the point? <laughs> Who cares about your dinky little unicorn horn? 
but we... We had an agreement! I thought you said always go alone, never trust anyone. Open your eyes, Tempest! <laughs> Get with the program. I used you! It's kind of what I do. Crack a doom! Vort. Okay, so she can shoot magic? Kind of? You think you have enough power to defeat me? Beam struggle, kaboom, wow, whoa, she's going overboard! Hold on! Why are you saving me? Because this is what friends do. Gotcha! Aw, isn't that just so sweet? Yeah, so sweet. See ya! You sure about this? Just do it! I'm excited, who's excited? I've never been more excited! Is that the legendary Moonshot Manticore Mouth Dive? No ponies ever been able to do this! You ponies are crazy! Squawk! Kaboom! <laughs> Look down there! <laughs> this ought to do it! Ooh! Direct hit! <laughs> That's some good aim! <laughs> Bullseye! Pinky! You all came back! I am so sorry! I was wrong to... I'm sorry too. Friends mess up sometimes, but we never should. Make up later. This isn't over. Look, up in the window. Uh, the damaged staff lets off a blast. Where? What's it doing? Rup! And brings down the ceiling! No! If only Twilight could teleport. But this time she really can't. Whoosh. I've got to get control of it! Whoosh. Go! You got this, Twilight. No. We've got this. Together. Oh, Applejack, whip! Got it! We can do this! Whoosh! Everypony, be careful! You too, Spack! <laughs> you little ponies are going down! That's my stuff! My power! Oh, yeah? Not if I get to it first! Mine! <clears throat> no! What? Got it! No! The Storm King is sucked into the raging sky! Twilight! Along with Twilight! <laughs> no! Is it over? She's gone! There... There... <laughs> Look! I knew she was okay! <laughs> she could fly, guys! <laughs> I guess the wind was apparently pretty intense, though. Group hug! I'm not done yet! He's back! Try this on for size! No! Tempest jumps in front of the ponies. Flip the Chaos Emerald, Zachi Stone! Wait. But the spell hits the Storm King, too! No! Stop! Please wait! I've... I've... I've changed my mind! Whoosh! Smash! Did he get destroyed? Shit, he's dead. But only one of the stone figures reached the ground. Set her down gently. <laughs> well, at least they saved Tempest. Rip Storm King. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. I can. Vip Vort, she's cured. Huh? Now what do we do? I guess Twilight knows how to use the staff, because she's just that smart. We fix everything. Twilight and Tempest take the staff to the throne room, chick vroom, and return the magic to Equestria, vroom, vroom, pew. What? Where? Twilight, with the princesses free? It's so good to see you. Canterlot returns to normal, vroom, so, we saved the world. Why did we need the hippogriffs for this? Because, I mean, really, the Storm King just beat himself. He betrayed Tempest, so Tempest jumped in front of the Petrify Stone and was too close to him, so he killed himself. <laughs> what was the point of literally anything else? Eh, oh well. Later that night, Phillies and Gentle Colts Get ready for a little Songbird Serenade! Hooray! Yippee! 
what voice did I give her? I literally don't remember. And now to celebrate the fact that we're all still here in one piece, let's give it up for Princess Twilight and her friends. Ending song? Okay, not real song, just background music, for now at least. Let us continue. Vroom. There you go. It looks fantastic. Thank you, m'lady. Aw, that's cute. It did just take one small thing to make a big difference. And when exactly did you sneak out, miss? Mom! You are so grounded. No, Sky Star, I think that's her name. Thank you, Rainbow Dash. Are you kidding me? Thank you guys! It's been awesome! Twilight spots Tempest alone. That's one thing that never changes around here. A party. Well, I hope you'll stay. More friends are definitely merrier. But, um, my horn is irrelevant to the conversation at Hoof? I don't really see anything that needs to be fixed. Your horn is pretty powerful, just like the pony it belongs to. I did tell you I wanted to show every pony in Equestria what I could do, right? With the princesses looking on, Tempest shows what she's got. Vort kaboom! Fireworky things? Nice touch, Tempest! Actually, that's not my real name. Ooh, what is it? It's Fizzlepop Berry Twist. <laughs> that is the most awesome name ever! <laughs> yep, that's one way of saying it. The end. Alright, so obviously this comic adaptation does not cover everything in the movie. So I am missing some moments. But I don't know. A lot of it seemed pretty pointless. They made some friends, yeah, but the only one that really mattered was Tempest. They just had to turn Tempest, and then they could fight the Storm King. Maybe in the actual movie, the friendships are better fleshed out and the characters have better development. But from my point of view, I didn't really see much of anything, so I have no attachment to them. And obviously this part's my own fault. Because I'm in charge of directing all of the emotional events, everything just comes out funny. The songs were okay. I don't feel like I've missed out by not listening to them until now. I like Tempest one the most. So, why did Celestia need help from the Hippogriffs? They didn't do anything. What was the- I really don't understand why this was the established first plot point. They just spent so much time traveling for what feels like no actual reason. And like Capper and the Sky Pirates, they were just a vehicle for Twilight to get reconnected to her friends so that they could beat up the Storm King. And by that I mean murder him. He was a pretty bad villain though, so I don't feel bad for him. He didn't really get any character development and his motive apparently just power? He's kind of just Tyrick, but again, but with a less meaningful impact on Twilight's character. Ooh, that guy was so cool. I think I'll join Equestria's princesses and get their magic for myself. Tempest, on the other hand, at least had a clear motive. She wanted her horn back. Speaking of which, don't... Can't horns grow back? I don't know about unicorn horns, I guess, but... IRL, horns are just, you know, fingernails on the head, so... I imagine it would grow back. I actually just looked it up. If a rhino is dehorned without cutting into the skull, it can grow back to almost full size in three years. There you go, it takes three years for a rhino to fully regrow its horn. Science. But also, I guess if the skull is damaged beneath the horn, it could complicate or completely compromise the regrowth. Maybe Tempest got her skull messed up. Science. I'm still kind of confused why Tempest even joined the Storm King to begin with. He doesn't seem to have any kind of power. His only power was the staff she gave him. If her plan all along was to use the staff to restore her horn, couldn't she have just done that herself? And the answer can't be no, because she can't properly channel her magic, therefore she can't use the staff. Because Twilight just straight hoofs it. Maybe she needed him for logistical purposes, like the invasion of Canterlot? I mean, he did have a lot of guys in airships, so... I've just been assuming the little petrified balls were Tempests, since, I mean, she was the one who used them. But maybe those were the Storm Kings. Maybe 
she needed a fast and easy way to get into the city and get rid of the princesses. And you know, I guess if those are his, then that would make sense. I wonder why the elements of harmony were not useful during this fight. I know they're basically like Deus Ex Machina literally every season, but I mean, they, they're they there, they exist. Why are these characters not using them? Same with Discord, but at least for Discord's sake, he never cares, so that's the reason. Don't get me wrong though, I'm totally down with not using the elements, but there really should be an in-universe reason, because um, they once again, they do exist, and they're broken. So the Storm King's a bad villain, but you know, <laughs> I like that guy, you know, he's just a funny monkey man. <laughs> and I'll never call him anything but. So, alright, never mind, I was gonna be, I was also gonna bring up other plot folds like, Where's Starlight and Shining Armor during this? Shouldn't they be doing things? But no, screw them, I don't care. I mean, that's the real reason Starlight's not here, because they just reinvented her for the villain. I too had a jaded childhood, because my friends abandoned me! So I ran away, and now, Princess, I'll turn you to my point of view and drain your magic so we're equal. Bird Girl's design is pretty cool. Captain Solano? I prefer Bird Girl, but... I will call her Solano, I guess. Strange none of the birds have wings and instead have four sets of claws, but I'm not going to question it. And of course I have to look up her name because a lot of the, a lot of My Little Pony characters have names based on something. And Solano is a harpy. There's actually many Greek characters named Solano. <laughs> but this is probably based on the harpy one. As far as I can tell, Capper doesn't mean anything, it's just a cool name. Interesting that... Novo and Skystar have a starry name scheme, with Skystar being obvious and Novo a riff on Nova, but Novo is also Latin for Anu, so maybe it's referencing how they used to fly around, but now they have their new lives as sea ponies. And Tempest obviously fitting in with Storm King, but um, Fizzle Pop Berry Twist just seems like a regular old horse name. Also the staff. Sakanas means bastards in Portuguese. Probably not the reference they're making. Man, I really thought this movie was going to be <laughs> about the sea ponies. But it really wasn't. It wasn't about anything, really. Just the classic friendship is magic. That being said, it's not like I didn't have a great time reading it. It is really cool, though. The idea of what if a unicorn but their horn is broken? That's interesting. Her background was basically just Starlight's background, but oh well. Really what I want to know, what's the deal with these little orb spells that that they throw and turn, to, turn people to stone? That's weird. But uh, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. <laughs> I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. So yeah, I'll do the prequel comics at a later date, but until next time.